Hello everybody, it's me, ProgramKeeper17, and during spring break, I have been learning Python, and I want to share my experience with you. What is Python? Python is a high-level programming language. So wait, what is a programming language? We humans use languages like English, Spanish, French, Thumb, and Thumbel to communicate. Likewise, we can use a programming language, and Python is one of the most popular programming languages. Why Python? Python is simple and easy to learn. Many large organizations use Python. It can be used for web applications, scientific computing, artificial intelligence, automation, and game design. So now we're going to look at how to download Python. So you go to your search browser and you type this in https colon forward slash forward slash python dot org forward slash and you would come to this page. Okay, so after you come to this page, you go to downloads and because I have a Windows computer, I would download this. And if you had a Mac or any other platform, you can go here and that would take you to your most recent download. So you press this and your thing will start downloading here and it would be in your files and you can open up in your files and it'll ask you a few questions. And then after that, you will have your Python shell open. Okay, so now if you open up Python, it'll look like this. So now that we have Python open, we have to open up an editor. So there are a ton of editors you can get for Python, but Python automatically comes with one editor, which is called idle. And so to start coding, you have to see if you have three greater than symbols, and that means you can start. So our first code is gonna be typing in hello world. So pause this video and see if you can do this on your own. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do it. So first what you want to do is type in print. Then do a parenthesis, double quote, type in hello world, then another double quote and an end print. Then you press enter, and then the computer would say back, hello world. So if you typed it in wrong, and you just say you did, you typed in print wrong. Like that. And then you can, you do, an, you do everything else right. And you press enter, it'll give you red text, which is the editor saying that they don't that you spelled print wrong and they don't know what that means. So now we're gonna be looking at some operations. So let's start off with addition. Addition is simple. You can just you can just say five and then for addition you just use the addition symbol and then five and then press enter and it'll say what the answer is it's the same for subtraction you can do 10 and then you just use the minus sign and then three if you want and you get back an answer and for multiplication though you have to use the asterisk symbol so let's say we want to do three times six so it would be three then asterisk symbol six enter and you would get your answer and for division, you want to use the forward slash, so 9 forward slash 3. And so, that's all for this video. And in the next video, I'm going to be doing some more stuff on operations. And I'm going to be learning some more stuff about operations and learning a little bit more code to show you guys.